Commodore Blake. This is Hayes. Just a reminder, the 355, of course, will be going to the Cara for the Irish Guineas. Meanwhile, they're under orders for the lock-in, and they're away. And in the earlier stages, Lobkowitz going on. Lobkowitz from Kioshner. Right up with them to Lobkowitz towards the right of the picture. Kioshner, the dark colours, no alcoholic, are not far behind them. And uh, Leicester tracking no alcoholic on Valier. And over on the far side, the right of the picture, Lobkowitz with Kirchner, no alcoholic, no alcoholic, right up with him now. Valier comes next, Montekin tucked in just between um, Rubellino over on the far rail and Lester Pickett on Valiar, but no alcoholic in the lead from Kirchner. Valiar is now third, Lobkowitz has dropped back to fourth, Montekin's not far behind him. Racing now down past the half mile pole and no alcoholic in the lead from Kioshna. Montekin gone third. Valiar is next, just behind Valiar is Hayes making a bit of progress. Corn Street coming from the rear with Commodore Blake. Racing past the three marker, no alcoholic in the lead from Kioshna on the stand side. Then comes Montekin, Hayes under pressure. Then comes Valiar, Commodore Blake and Corn uh, Street coming down to the two furlong pole. No alcoholic from Kioshna, Montekin in third, Valiar is four, then comes Robolino and Hayes, racing down to the furlong pole now, and no alcoholic in the lead from Valiar going second, then on the near side is Kirchner, then comes uh, Corn Street making ground, but no alcoholic from Valiar as they race into the final furlong, no alcoholic from Valiar in second, then comes Robolino and Hayes and racing into the closing stages, no alcoholic holding Valiar as they race towards the line, it's no alcoholic from Valiar and no alcoholic going to win it at the line, oh, alcoholic of the winner, and second is Valiar, third is Robolino, and four came Hayes, and behind them Corn Street, and Kirchner, and then Montekin, and then Lobkowitz, and behind them Air Commodore and Prima Voce, and so the result of the lock in is first number four, no alcoholic owned by Mr. William Dupont the third, owned, trained by Gavin Pritchard Gordon and written by George Duffield, second was number 11, Valiar, owned by Mr. Garo Vanian, trained by Henry Cecil and written by Lester Pickett. And third was number 10, Rebellino, owned by C.H. Newton Jr. Limited, trained by Squeak Fairhurst and written by Bobby Elliott. Fourth was number two, Hayes. This is the winner, no alcoholic, who has made handsome amends for an unlucky run at uh, Longchamp earlier in the month having made a great deal of the running here to win the lock-ins from Valiar, and here's how he did it as we review it with Julia. Well, George Duffield gambled fiercely here because he took the lead five furlongs from home and two furlongs out, he kicked on into a six-length lead. And from now on, he was just starting to die and it must have seemed a long way home for George. He's still five lengths clear, but now Lester Pickett's moved into second place on Valiar and he's drawn clear of the pack. And now it was just a question of whether no alcoholic could uh, see it out having gone this terrific ga gallop. Now the gap is down to three lengths, the horse is getting tired and George Duffield knows he's tired. And he's a big horse too, but he's got the rails to help him and he's got a very courageous horse. There goes Valiar's tail as Lester gives him a backhander, asking him just for one final effort and the gap is still closing. But to George's great relief and those of his supporters, the post has come so that no alcoholic holds on by a length and a half from Valiar with Robolino third. Well, in the last furlong, Lester's pulled his whip through there to his left hand. This is just the moment that he pulls it through, and he still, remember, got three lengths to make up. And Valiar, I must say, has answered Lester's calls well, and the gap is closing. But you can see that no alcoholic is brave as well as durable, and he gallops on under this strong driving from George Duffield. It's just here that Lester gives his mind a backhander, and his tail goes round, as you see. And Lester gives him one more, and his horse answers, although he doesn't obviously like Lester's uh, administrations. But no alcoholic has run on like a hero, and what a terrific credit he is to Gavin Pritchard Gordon and his staff, who've improved him so vastly. Yes, his third outing of the season. I remember Gavin saying at uh, Doncaster that uh, he's a very difficult horse to produce first time, and he was beaten by Prince's Gate because he'd got nothing that could really go with him in his in his string, but he's got him in great nick now and a very good horse when he's right. So no alcoholic, the winner of the lock-in stakes 
from Valia and Rebellino, and the starting price is as follows. First number four, no alcoholic, seven to two. Second number 11, Valia, nine to four favorite. And third number 10, Rebellino, 25 to one. Jackpot number was 304.